Aries, 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 doom, 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 doom. Aries, Aries. <laughs> Hello, Aries. How are you guys doing? Welcome to another uh, reading, guys. Thank you for tuning the freak in. Okay. Um, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so take what makes sense for you and leave the freaking rest. Okay. Uh, this is an all sign bonus reading for Aries. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever you want to freaking call it. So let us see, Aries, what is coming towards you in love. Towards the end of the reading, I will be pulling from Aries to Pisces. Channel messages from them each to see what they would want to say. And then towards the end of that, I will be pulling overall general uh, messages for this reading. So sit tight, grab a bite, catch a flight, take a hike. I'm kind of playing around with this new angle that I have here. So let me know, guys, how you feel about this new angle. I think it's cute. I mean, because I usually have it a little bit more slanted, but I'm just like, well, maybe I can just start doing like this, you know? I don't know. You guys let me know if you prefer my old angle or this angle, okay? All right. Aries. I feel like you get to see more of the table, so. All right, this is for Aries angels. What is coming to Aries in love? What is coming to Aries in love? Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in love. Okay. So Aries, you have fresh starts, okay? Um, maybe this is someone that you were like, okay, it's time to get the hell out of there. <laughs> okay, time to go now and then fresh start. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, bottom of the deck is reaching out. So some freak wants to reach their hand out to you, Aries. And maybe they want to... <laughs> Ask for a fresh start. <laughs> All right. Aries. So as soon as we cut the deck, Eight of Swords, Reverse, Six of Wands. This could be someone who... Oh, maybe this freak feels like things could still be uh, successful, Aries. What is coming to uh, Aries in love, please? What is coming to Aries in love? Aries. Aries. Wow. Wow. So Aries, you have the five of coins, the fool, the six of wands. What is coming to Aries in love? Aries. Like, you see what I'm trying to say, guys? Like, you can see the cards more. What is coming to Aries in love, please? Aries. Aries. Mm, the sun, the queen of cups. What is coming to Aries in love? Aries. the king of wands let me get two more cards for aries in love what is coming to aries in love what is coming to aries in love let me get two more cards what is coming to aries in love aries um aries you could be dealing with a leo a cancer another fire sign so let me too many damn cards yeah, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius very strongly here. We also have Cancer. What is coming to Aries in love? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. Aries. And we have the High Priestess. The Two of Swords. So I feel like maybe it's been silent between you and this person for some of you. If that's the case, I do feel like the silence is about to be broken here, Aries. This freak can't front anymore, okay? They, just, they, they can't do this anymore, Aries, okay? Um, <laughs> I do see someone having a lot of feelings towards you, Aries, okay? They have a lot of passion to, towards you. They have a lot of desire for the Aries, okay? Um, and they, 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 they just want a piece of that cake. They want a little piece of that cake, Aries, you know what I'm saying? Um, now, center of the reading is the sun. So this is illumination. This is happiness. This is, you know, positive things going on here. Now, you have the five of coins. Some of you could be starting new connections, um, and maybe you're getting away from someone who just treats you like they don't freaking care, okay? So now you feel like you deserve better. And now it's like, okay, you know, you're no longer feeling sorry for yourself. You're deciding to have a fresh start in love. I think this fresh start has to do with like a newer energy. That's what I feel, Aries. Okay, Aries is on to the next, okay? Aries is on to the freaking next. They don't want none of you freaks, okay? <laughs> yeah, Aries is in this energy of like, whatever on to the next you don't want me you're treating me like crap whatever and i think this fresh start has to do with someone else and this freak could be your ten of cups okay so let's take a look at this 
full because the full is when you're leaving it all behind and you're basically just kind of starting starting off starting over the two of cups fell into my hand the eight of coins wow aries wow Ooh. so aries basically what you're doing is are you telling me you're leaving the freak behind and you're you're i mean you already have someone else who wants to treat you like a king or a queen that you are they put you on a pedestal wow what is the six of wands for aries in love this person really supports you they make you feel really good about yourself i mean this person is like your ideal partner the world wow mm. now for some of you if you are still interested in someone like from the past i can see this being a past person too but it would be a little bit different maybe this person is taking a risk now um maybe this person feels like you know what all right no more playing a victim let me go after my aries let me come in for the for the win with aries so either way someone is trying to win you over aries um what is the sun for aries and love oh well the sun is the judgments okay could be a scorpio what is the sun for aries the sun is the knight of cups and the knight of wands i mean this person is making it very clear to you how they feel about you uh, I feel like there's nothing hidden. Uh, there's no gimmicks. <laughs> Don't worry, this freak doesn't have any gimmicks, Aries. There's no gimmicks here with this person. Um, this person's authentic, okay? They're authentically interested in you. They're genuinely interested in you, okay? Um, some of you could a little, be a little guarded. Maybe the past has you feeling a little way, but um, I mean, I think you should give this person a chance, whoever this person is. All right, who is this Queen of Cups for the Aries? Who's this Queen of Cups for the Aries, please? The Five of Swords reverse. The four. This Queen of Cups wants to hold on to you. There's a big offer with the Queen of Cups. Ace of Coins. Now, what is this King of Cup, Queen, King of Wands for Aries? A lot of passion, a lot of desire for my feminines. This person finds you very beautiful. Uh, they, 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 they're hot. I mean, they're passionate about. This person knows what they want, Aries, and it's really you. But I don't know why someone's been holding this up. I don't know what, what what the confliction is about i mean this person there's someone confessing their love professing their love and their desire to further things with you um they're walking their talk i mean they treat you so well what do you feel Aries? you think this is too good for, or something what is the two of swords for aries i mean my, my venus is in aries this, this reading kind of sounds pretty uh yeah so i don't know why someone's kind of like acting cool like detached or like i mean what the hell is going on here hmm it could be that maybe if this person was kind of treating you like they were detached from you or something it could be you like okay well now you want me you know that kind of energy here but i mean whatever this is aries i mean i feel like it's genuine it's genuine what is the uh what is the uh, high priestess reverse okay this could be someone who who in your friend group as well who still has like a you know a bunch of passion towards you what is the high priestess could be a pisces so the silence is going to be broken aries this person is going to be telling you exactly what they want with you or either way this is someone who's going to be keeping it real what else do you want this person's literally coming in keeping it very real whether this is a new person or not and what they're telling you, Aries, is that they want a commitment. That this is what they want. Um, <laughs> I know Aries laughing. This is what they want, Aries. Ace of Cups falling in my head. They want to move this shit forward, Aries. I hate to say it, but this is what they, they just... I don't know who's who, who's been, you know, ignoring this opportunity. Okay, so whoever's been ignoring this opportunity is going to be the one to finally take it. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So, I mean, I see that happening. So, all they want to know is yes or no, Aries, okay? They care about you. They want to tell you how they feel. You know, they don't They don't, They don't. don't want to be in this, I don't know, energy they were in before. Um, so, you're going to have to make your mind up with the Two of Swords. So, what, what else can you tell me for Aries in this love situation? Now, this may be someone that you walked away from, you moved on from. Ten of Wands, reverse. Ten of Coins. Some of you, they may be telling you that they left someone else, Aries. 
and you may find yourself conflicted. What else for Aries in this love situation? What else is coming? Yeah. The higher fan, I mean, they want a commitment. Aries. <laughs> Aries, yeah, this freak wants a commitment. This is what they want. They really like what they see. This is what they're offering. What else does this person want? What else do we need to see, angels? All right, we got the emperor, okay? And we got the hangman reverse. This person is super serious, Aries, and they want to take it to another level. They are not going to stop until they get the Aries, okay? Until they get their hands on the Aries, they're not going to stop. So, two of swords, make up your mind. Make up your mind. I feel like someone's trying to catch them in Aries. I don't know why I'm getting that <laughs> very strongly. Or maybe Aries, you could be trying to catch this person. But I mean, this person really does like you and they feel really good about you. And I just think that this is a really good thing for you, Aries. Whatever this is, new or old, this is a very good thing for you. Um, I don't think this person is afraid to tell you how they feel or anything like that, which they will be. They will be. All right, so let's get into these timestamps, okay? We're going to go start from Aries, okay? If you are dealing with an Aries, let's see what Aries wants you to know. Aries to Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries to Aries. Yeah, so overall, guys, this is someone who's taking a leap. So this Aries may have had a hard time opening up to you, okay? But they will. Maybe they weren't feeling good enough for you. Now they do, Aries to Aries. <laughs> They're about to blow up your phone, Aries to Aries. They're praying that you'll come back. I'll earn your trust and love. I'm faithful to you, Aries to Aries. I want to get back together. And I'm thinking about taking a higher step of commitment. Ooh, and then I want to start all over. Okay. Alrighty then, Aries, they have spoken. For those of you dealing with a Taurus, let's see what this Taurus wants to say to you. Taurus to Aries. Taurus to Aries. Taurus. What does Taurus want Aries to know? Infatuated? Yeah, if it's not you, it's me. Taurus to Aries. I have the biggest crush on you. Mm. Taurus to Aries. Afraid to give my heart away. So it could be this Taurus that was kind of having their reservations, okay? But they say they'll earn your, your trust and your love. I ran from our connection because it was too intense. So maybe this freak told you they just wanted to be friends, but now they're eating their words, okay? They probably was just afraid to give their heart away. <laughs> Aries, um, sorry, Taurus to Aries, praying you'll come back. Taurus to Aries, I want you so bad. <laughs> well, yeah. You know I want you so bad, baby, 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 baby. Oh, I get so high when I'm around you, baby. Alrighty then. So if you are dealing with a Gemini... Let's see what we got here, guys. All right. Aries. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gemini to Aries. Gemini to Aries. Gemini to Aries. They are not you, okay, Aries? They want you to know that those freaks mean nothing to them. This Gemini says they love you so freaking much, okay? 5D meets. So this could be your twin. You guys meet in the 5D. Gemini to Aries. Never doubt my love for you. Trust issues. They say you better freaking pick up when they call, Aries. Fire sign. So they want you. This is also could be the queen, the king or the king of wands. This person wants you bad, okay? <laughs> they got, this could be a Gemini with fire in their chart. They're tired of arguing with you. They just want to love you. Okay. And they're going to tell you how they feel about you. So, all right.
Aries dealing with a cancer. Aries dealing with a cancer. Aries to Cancer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> cancer to Aries. Cancer to Aries. 5D meets. What does Cancer want their Aries to know, spirits? Cancer to Aries. So this Cancer says, I want to make things official with you. I know you're the one. They say, I was so blind. Cancer to Aries. I'm hiding my loneliness and sadness from everyone. I'm a mess over you. Cancer to Aries. I'm sorry if I come off as careless. I'm just afraid of getting hurt again. This Cancer is freaky. They want to go half on a baby. They want to start a family with you, a life. Ooh. They're having jealous thoughts of you with someone else. <laughs> Maybe they have mommy, daddy issues. Let me get a couple more for Cancer to Aries. So you have stressed over you. This Cancer is stressed. This Cancer could be a drug dealer. Cancer to Aries. Oh, so this Cancer could be a new love in your life. Okay. Or they want to have new love with you. If you're dealing with a Leo, let's see. What does Leo want their Aries to know, spirits? Ooh. So this Leo definitely wants to tell you how they feel. Leo to Aries. So this Leo could have Earth in their chart. Maybe they left an Earth sign. All right, so you have romantic outing. So they want to take you out, do something romantic with you. Okay. Leo to Aries. Don't ever compare or blame yourself. You aren't the problem. It's me. So maybe this Leo was here for a good time only, but now that has changed. Okay. Or maybe you were. So you have, I've moved on. So I feel like for those of you, if it was third party, they may have moved on from an earth sign. Leo to Aries. I know we belong together. They're stuck on you. And they're calling and texting from fake numbers. Ah, bad doggy, bad lion. <laughs> Bad doggy. <laughs> Bad freak. <laughs> so if you're dealing with a Virgo, let's see what this Virgo wants you to know. Virgo to Aries. Virgo. This Virgo says they're being stubborn. This Virgo has childhood trauma. They're praying you're com you'll come back. Virgo to Aries. Dying for another chance. You can trust me. What the hell? <laughs> Virgo to Aries. They're about to pursue you. This Virgo is about to pursue you, okay? Please take me back, Virgo to Aries. You have care for a good time only. What the hell? All I want is you. I'm realizing who you are to me. I was so blind before. And you have dying to hear from you. So some of you probably left, you know somebody in the past and now you got something new in your life and this other person wants to come back <sighs> so if you're dealing with a libra let's see what we got let's see what we got libra to aries please libra to aries Oh, so this Libra says, I left you before you could leave me. This Libra is playing hard to get. So maybe this Libra wasn't ready to change. Libra to Aries. My heart and my soul belongs to you. Libra to Aries. Trying to ignore you. I'm in my feelings deep. Libra to Aries. Time to heal. So I don't know who needed time to heal. Maybe they need time to heal from any something else. I'm thinking about taking a higher step of commitment towards you. Never moving on from you. So this, this Libra is not going anywhere. It's stuck like Chuck. So let's see. 
If you're dealing with a Scorpio, let's see what we got. Scorpio to Aries, please. So the Scorpio has deep feelings for you. They're typing and deleting messages. They're changing their ways for you and for us. Ooh. The Scorpio is probably catfishing you, living a lie, but they want to take care of you. Ooh, the Scorpio says they're madly in love with you. Scorpio to Aries. Ew, they say you better not be seeing anyone. <laughs> earth sign. So this Scorpio could have earth in their chart. Playing hard to get. So I don't know how you want to play hard to get, but yet you, I better not be seeing anyone. Like, how does that make sense? <sighs> These freaks. So if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius want their Aries to know? So the Sagittarius says your love is their drug. The Sagittarius could be um, a bit older than you. The Sagittarius says I just need more time or maybe that's what they needed. Sagittarius to Aries. Sagittarius is crying over you. It's all a front. They're, ooh, <laughs> They're tired of front and sag. Maybe they were preferring the single life and stuff, and now they got their ass, you know, fell in love. Okay. And then, now they're never moving on. And their life is a disaster without you. Interesting. All right. All right, Capricorn to Aries. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, what would this Capricorn like to say to you? <sighs> this Capricorn said, I left them. So maybe they're telling you that they left someone. I'm sorry if I come off as careless. I'm just afraid of getting hurt again. Capricorn to Aries. Well, they say they want to settle down together. I want to make things official with you. I know you're the one. You have mad at you. So I don't know. Maybe they know you're mad at them. Capricorn to Aries. Couch crashing. Let's stay together. Ooh, so we have non-committal. Maybe, maybe that's why you were mad at them because they were non-committal in the past. Okay. And yeah, maybe they told you they just wanted to be friends, but that's a lie. All right. Oh my god, I didn't even put this timestamp. Well, I would just say start it off like. Hold on, hold on. No, All right, so if you are connected to an Aquarius, what does uh, this Aquarius want their Aries to know? So maybe they hurt you with a third party, Aquarius to Aries, but they want you to take them back. <laughs> Aquarius to Aries, I wanna get back together. Aquarius to Aries, I left them, ooh, so that fell under third party, so they probably left somebody else, Aries. Hmm. And they're super freaking obsessed now, Aquarius to Aries. You can trust me. Never letting you go. And then you have the grass wasn't greener, so maybe this freak seen that the grass wasn't greener wherever the hell they went to, okay? All right, if you are dealing with a Pisces, let's see, Pisces to Aries. Pisces to Aries. This Pisces could be your divine masculine. This Pisces says that they have the biggest crush on you. Yeah, moving away soon, Pisces to Aries. 
acting cold and attached. Pisces to Aries. They say the feeling is mutual. So this Pisces is falling in love with you. They're very lonely without you. They said they can love you way better. And I want you so bad. Okay. Well, okay, a little fishy. I'm like, uh, so maybe they're moving away from someone else. Okay. So now let's get into the overall messages, my loves. So let's see. Overall, angels, what does Aries uh, love and trust want them to know right now? Aries, what does Aries love and trust want them to know? Aries. What does Aries love and trust want them to know? Aries. Aries. Ooh. Aries, what else? Aries, hmm. Aries. Well, damn. What the hell you guys did to this person? All right. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on. So Aries, okay, so they say, I only desire you, okay? They only desire you. Pick up when I call. It's free good. So you better pick up the free call. <laughs> you don't want to make that mistake. All right, madly in love with you. We have you here from me soon. I love you more than anything. Wine and dine. So whoever the hell this person is, I mean, they, they, they. <laughs> Oh, there's child. They got it. Okay, they got it. My life is a disaster, <laughs> but it is older. Maybe they got you involved in baby mama, baby daddy drama. Some of you I'm hearing this could be your child's father, child's mother, okay? Twin flames about to reach out. And we have, okay, so this freak is hiding their true feelings from you, okay? Maybe they, they're very dramatic and unstable without you. <laughs> This freak is dramatic. Put this freak on a leash. The freak? Okay. I want you back in my life, but I'm worried you won't trust me. I try to find you in others, but fell miserably. I want you back badly. Ugh, so maybe this freak is, you know, spiteful, jealous, and hating. Somebody has been spiteful and jealous and hating. Maybe if it was third party, third party's hating on you and shit. Fuck you. Freak you. With a big old dildo, bitch. All right. Oh, God. I'm oh, sorry, guys. All right, so that is what we have, Aries. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll talk again next time.